It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Horseforth Brewing Company. Or Horseforth Brewery, I should say. And this is their Mango in the Mash American Pale Ale. It's 6.5% ABV. So technically, technically it's, it's an American IPA. This is the first time I think I've seen a beer at over 6.5% ABV that's been called an American Pale Ale. Perhaps it's very, very pale in colour. And that's the reason why they've chosen to call it an American Pale Ale. Um, I like to look at the can. You see the, you see a lot of mash. You see, you see a lot of mash. You see a lot of malt on the side of the can and then on this side you're seeing lots of kind of mango juice or what probably looks like a mango it's really interesting um they're an assured independent british craft brewer according to seba let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get 440 milliliter can Now, I'm just going to come out and say this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are expecting me to talk about this a little bit. Um, mango in the mash. Uh, oh, here we are. Uh, now, I know some people comment on my video saying, uh, you know, we know you don't like mango in beer and... You're gonna go. You you know you're already going into this video with a negative viewpoint, but I really do try. I really do try to go into these videos with an open mind. With that, what I try to do, I try and turn myself back into that innocent beer reviewer I was when I once started in two thousand and ten where I barely knew anything about beer. And I was just cracking cans on YouTube for a little bit of fun and learning as I went along. So I try and take my back to those, myself back to those early years on YouTube where I was learning. And I reckon if I drank this back when I first started reviewing beer on YouTube, I would probably absolutely dance around the kitchen for this. I'd be absolutely jumping for joy. So, definitely mango in the mash. You can see it's full on mango colour, slow moving carbonation. It looks quite thick. It looks quite like they've used a lot of mango. Uh, let's get the aroma. Spicy and peppery, but with a bit of mango fruit as well. Lots of mango fruit. I'm going to dive into this one. Uh, and then we're going to talk about Bingley Brew Club, who were kind enough to send me the beer. Cheers, everybody. trying to be positive I really am um, I'm trying to be like I'm trying to think of good things to say about this beer um, I will say I'm gonna start off after the first sip by saying I have had one or two Horsforth brewery beers and they've been very good they've been they're a very good brewery I just think that that last little bit of sediment, let's get it in. I just think that, wow, look how thick that is now. Look at that. Did you see that last inch of beer? If I thought I was tasting mango before, then I'm really going to be tasting mango now. 
Um, they brew some good beer. I've had a couple of their beers. They're pretty decent. They're pretty tidy. They're a solid brewery. Um, I think they're just going with the times, though. I think they're just they're experimenting. Uh, lots of breweries now are adding a lot of fruit to beer. Lots of people are adding mango to beer. Uh, now, the first time I ever had mango in a beer was a mango lager in Poland, where they were squeezing fresh mango and adding it to a lager. And it was just in Poland on a boiling hot sunny day in the summer at the Wrocław Beer Festival in 2015, I believe it was, so about seven years ago. It was tasty. It was really tasty. It was really good. Freshly squeezed mango pulp, like added to a, a lager. I don't know how they were doing it quite. It was, it was a process. They were, they were actually adding the mango at the beer festival. Um, it took six years to come to the UK, but my goodness, when it hit the UK, it has really hit the UK. Now, I was recently, only a few days ago, I was in Norway. And apparently they went through this in 2021. And it's gone. It's completely gone. So 2021 in Norway, there was a lot of brewers adding mango to their beers. I spoke to a lot of beer uh, breweries at the Bergen Ul Festival, the Bergen Beer Festival, just last week, and it was a fad. It was a passing fad. It was 2021, mango beer was everywhere. It's a bit like Brute IPA. There was a stage where, where Brute IPA was everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And then it just disappeared. As fast as Brute IPA came, it went. Now, speaking to the Norwegian brewers, as fast as these mango beers have turned up in Norway, they've disappeared just as quickly. Nobody wants to drink it. It's not popular anymore. Everybody's back to drinking IPA, pale ales, imperial stouts, barley wines, beer. People are drinking beer again in Norway. So, on a personal level, even though I haven't given too much in the way of flavour, maybe I should do a bit of flavour first before um, I talk about this beer anymore. I just don't get it. It's just not nice. I find the mango astringent on the back end. I find it like, oh, I just find it like, ah, oh, I just, I find it impossible. I find this type of beer impossible to drink, to review. I just want to pour it down the sink. Again, this is not on Horsforth Brewery. They brewed it because it's a passing fad. It's not going to last. Breweries are brewing these beers once and they're quickly moving away, as I've demonstrated by my Norwegian trip. Um, to be honest with you, what so the beer was kindly sent to us by Bingley Brew Club. I really appreciate Bingley Brew Club for sending us the beer. Um, quick shout out to them. Um, they are a subscription, a beer subscription service where you've got a medium tier and a large tier. Um, each tier comes with a packet of crisps and each tier comes from beers with or from the Bingley area, the Yorkshire area of the UK, where we've got some of the best breweries in the UK, Magic Rock, Vocation, Timmy Taylor's North, Black Sheep, Wishbone, Amity, Salt, Northern Monk, you know, the lot. The lot are on there. Um, 
So just to finish off, I pulled this can out of the fridge this morning and it kind of just made me sigh a little bit. I've, I've tried to be positive. I've tried to be positive. I don't like it. I don't understand it. I don't like it. I don't think it's beer. I really think it's too far away from being beer. Um, I kind of just went, oh, I've got to review this one today. Uh, it was just like a bit of a forced review. I hope this style of beer goes away as quickly as it's come about. Um, it's just not for me. It's awful. Awful. It's astringent. It's just not beer. It's just... It's got that horrible hairspray thing. You know when I talk about we like spraying hairspray in your mouth as a kid by accident when you're trying to do your hair for the first time. I don't like that at all. It's a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Of course, try other beers from Horsforth. Try other beers from Bingley Brew Club. If you're a fan of traditional beer, or maybe craft beer as I call it, IPAs, stouts, imperial stouts, barley wine, saison, then buy them by all means. But this mango stuff, it's just got to go away. Two out of 10. Two out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.